Serial killers are people mostly with disturbed childhood and adolescence. Some of these have been so brutal in history that they gained international media coverage and public attention. This video lists the top 10 most notorious serial killers in history. Welcome to Hear This. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Number 10, Jack the Ripper. An anonymous killer ripped apart the dead bodies of five women whom he had killed. All his victims were prostitutes, and the serial killer has been one of the most high-profile British serial killers to date. The police never found out who the killer was, and hence we know him today as Jack the Ripper. Between August and September of 1888, he killed five women and then mutilated their bodies. He also used to send taunting notes to the police. Some would also explain the details of his murder. The public uproar about the failure of police to arrest the criminal led the then Commissioner of London to resign. Number 9. Harold Shipman Harold Shipman got quite popular as a serial killer because he was a doctor and had killed around 250 of his patients, mostly elderly women. Shipman had unprecedented access to the trust and privacy of the patients and was killing them silently using an injection of diamorphine. It was only in 1998 when a one-year-old woman died in her house only hours after Shipman visited her. What stirred more suspicion was that the will was unduly benefiting Harold, the doctor, who was convicted and put in jail in 2000 where he killed himself. Number 8. John Wayne Gacy Gacy was found to have killed 33 young boys and men whose bodies were found inside and in the surrounding of his house. In the 1960s, he had been convicted of sexually assaulting teenage boys multiple times. Only in 1978, a young boy named Robert went missing, who was reported to have the last contact with Casey. Police searched his house and discovered all the dead bodies. His lawyers argued that he was a psychological patient, but the jury convicted him for the 33 murders. Number 7. The Zodiac Killer this serial killer fashioned his own name in the taunting letters he used to send to the police. He operated during the 1960s and 1970s, the same time when he was sending ciphers to be decoded. Only one of these was decoded. His last letter told him that he had killed 37 people. The police, however, were only successful in finding seven of his victims. The case file is still open. Number 6. Bill Gunness Bell was a Norwegian immigrant in Chicago, where she married a fellow Norwegian immigrant. They had four children in a candy store which caught fire and her husband got killed in the year 1900, reportedly due to an accident. Gunness got the insurance and remarried. Her second husband mysteriously died after eight months, and she again got the insurance payouts. When she began searching for her third husband, she started to kill the suitors before even marrying them. Bell Guinness has been reported to have died in a fire on her own farm, but we are not sure. Number 5. Ed Gein Ed Gein, the inspiration behind the movies Psycho and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, had lived alone in his house and was first discovered when a hardware store owner, Bernice Worden, got missing. Police came to search his house and found Worden's body hanging outside. The inside of the house was a whole horror story, with various dead body parts being used as chars and wall hangings. Ed was declared schizophrenic and spent the rest of his life in an hospital. Number 4. Jaffrey Dahmer Jaffrey Dahmer was first convicted when an African-American barely escaped his killing attempt. The police went to his house only to discover the pictures of the dismembered parts of the dead bodies of Dahmer's victims. He even admitted to having eaten and chewed on the body parts of his victims. He had killed hundreds of men of color from 1978 to 1991 when he was sentenced to 957 years of jail. But he was killed by the jail inmates only after two years. Number 3. Ted Bundy The serial killing story of Ted Bundy is full of charm. He was a handsome, educated young man, graduate of the University of Washington. 
Ted would look for co-ed undergraduate women to kidnap and then kill. He made several kills in Utah, Colorado, Washington, and Oregon before he got arrested for kidnapping. He escaped prison and went to Florida where he was killed several times. This was the first murder trial that went on television. He enjoyed the attention he got from the viewers on his case where he'd acted as his own lawyer. He tried to lure the police by giving them clues about his kills, but he was eventually executed in an electric chair in 1989. Number 2. H. H. Holmes H. H. Holmes was a famous vicious serial killer and torturer from Chicago. He pursued medicine and used the cadavers from the college laboratory to disfigure them. He then took out insurance on their names, planted them as if they had been killed in an accident, and then received the insurance checks. He soon became a pharmacist and used his money to build a three-story hotel or castle which he used to torture his guests. Neighbors would see women and people enter the spooky castle, but never saw them leave. He would only accept women with insurance papers to kill them afterward and receive the amount. It was finally hanged in 1896. Number 1. Pedro Lopez What makes Pedro Lopez interesting is that he has been linked to more than 300 murders. Despite this, he has not been locked away in jail. Pedro Lopez was originally convicted of auto theft. While in prison, he had killed three inmates. After his release, he began his serial killing spree. He raped and killed teenage girls in Ecuador, Colombia, and Chicago. A flood revealed four of his victims' dead bodies, and the remaining were uncovered by his failed attempt to rape and kill a 12-year-old nearby. He was convicted for the murders of 110 young girls, but was released for his good behavior. His arrest warrants have been issued, but his whereabouts are not known. So let us know in the comments section which one of these notorious serial killers was the most unbelievable for you.